Alrighty, here we are again. Let's see. Okay. So here we are, once again, another one of these. Uh, because why not? So this is a slightly different take on things. Uh, because I'm not penciling this time, I'm actually inking, uh, which is almost the same process. I'm just making everything look uh, sharper as it's supposed to. Kind of consider this the final art, I suppose. So there's the website. Let's see here. Hope everyone is well. It's a I'm recording this on a Saturday, and it is absolutely beautiful weather outside. I think, actually, once I finish up here, I'm going to go outside myself uh, and take a book and have a nice drink out on the patio, I think. Doesn't that sound nice? I think it sounds nice. Now, this is actually the second uh, strip that I've done, or I guess I just call it comic now, uh, since the last, since the pencil and chat video that I did, I guess a week ago now, and by the way, I don't know if I really plan on making these a weekly thing, uh, but I will say, this is this, the, the second one since then, so this is the fourth one within the past week that I've actually put out. And I'll tell you why that's significant is because over the past few years, I've kind of been slacking in terms of my work on the strip. And it's basically, it, it, it's come and gone off and on for uh, a period of time now. Uh, namely because I'm always busy. <laughs> um, and so I never... I don't, didn't always have the time. I used to work retail, and it used to be shift work. And so I was, you know, never, ever, ever certain whether or not I was going to uh, have time to make a comic or not. So it, it really, it really slacked. Let's see, I, I've never drawn a cobweb before. Sound effects help, yes, in case you're wondering. Let's see. Eh, kind of. And then they come like that. I'll pro I, th I don't think I'm ever going to draw a cop up again because they're too annoying. Let's see. Then this one. Oops. That doesn't line up. This one. It also doesn't help that I have a naturally shaky hand. <clears throat> So, <laughs> these little fine lines are really difficult for me to do because of that. I have a, uh, what's it called? I went to a doctor about it. A benign tremor is what it is called. And there we go. There's our cobweb. And it makes it very difficult to do many things including draw. If you look here and here, um, even a, a long line like this one, uh, here, 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 <laughs> basically anywhere and everywhere, you'll see I have a really hard time. And it sucks because I'm a cartoonist. So, I've been trying to be more lenient on it now, like many things with the strip, so that enters into what I was actually starting to say. Because, you know, if you've seen the past two or three of these videos of me just chatting and drawing, you know that I will ramble and go on tangents like crazy. Um, but this enters into... I'm trying to be a lot more loose with how I handle the strip now. I don't even call it a strip now, I just call it the comic. So, uh, it's 
primarily now just a webcomic. Uh, I'm trying to be more loose with my humor, loose with my style. Uh, if, you know, I screw up a little bit of a line, like, uh, let's see, this line here is a little too, um, too wide. I'm not worrying about it. At the end of the day, it has no impact on my life, and it's such a small detail that readers of the strip, are, or of the comic, are not going to notice it, but it's some, that's something that I would have used to have been really picky about, uh, because by nature, I'm a perfectionist, and I want everything to be just so. Like, even right now, I, I'm being nitpicky about this little line. Um, I'm trying to be better about that, to, you know, so I have more fun. When I did the comic books, I did a couple Tanner and Casey comic books. I, the first one I drew entirely by hand on paper. The second one was kind of half done on paper. And, it, you know, when, when you're working on paper, it, you can't really get as deep into detail because you can't zoom in like I am now. Unless, I guess, you had a magnifying glass, that wouldn't be ideal. So it, it offered a little bit more breathing space in terms of, you know, how the lines look and everything. That's horrible. But it's, even with the digital drawings, I'm trying to uh, be more... Uh, more lenient on myself. I keep doing that. I don't know why. Um, just because it, it, it makes it more fun. And the, this all enters into why this is the fourth strip this week. I'm almost doing them daily now, uh, which I used to many, many years ago. Um, and, you know, any, any comic you see in the paper is, is likely daily. Drawn, drawn multiple strips drawn a day to meet the deadline. Damn it. Um, the reason I'm so into it again now, is, well, A, I've got a little bit more time on my schedule. Now that I work set hours, uh, I, I always know what I'm doing so I can plan easier to draw these things. So that's nice. Um, but also, with my new sort of, I don't know what you'd call it, I talked about in the last video I did, the new way I'm doing the strip, which is prime, which is chiefly just as a webcomic, uh, opened up the door to do a whole lot more with it, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it, when in recent years, I haven't been having a whole lot of fun drawing the strip. I just primarily I drew it because either I had to for a newspaper deadline or uh, you know I knew that I hadn't posted in a while and I really should get one out because it's been so long and readers and, and you know all that. But so it, it was more just a, a chore rather than something fun and that's the last thing I want is for it to not be fun anymore and like I said in the last video I even considered ending the strip or doing a, a different strip or both um, but now that I, I've changed the whole outlook of the strip it's been a lot more fun, and there's, you know, I've been taking a lot more liberty with the strip because I'm not catering anymore. Now that I'm doing it, I used to draw it, newspapers in mind first, and then I'll post it online. So it was made as a newspaper strip for 10 years, or uh, almost 10 years, and I really got sick of it there were jokes that I wanted to do that I couldn't do. Sometimes I had newspaper editors literally tell me, we're not going to run the strip because we don't like this joke. Uh, 
And so the only way that strip got out was online anyway. Additionally, uh, you know, I, these, these are issues that you have to deal with when you're, when you work with newspapers and I'm perfectly okay with not really pushing the strip out to newspapers anymore because I can make joke, like, like the last strip that I just drew, <laughs> it was, um, real, these were real, uh, animal names that were just horrible and silly and strange and I incorporated them into the strip and one of them there's a this is real an actual beetle is called a colon rectum now that in and of itself is absolutely hilarious and then I got to work it into the strip and <laughs> if if we were still a newspaper strip, that would not have flied, I, uh, flown, fly, flown. I can tell you right now. So it's just it, it it's a lot more fun, um, and we're, we're, the, the we've kind of changed the scope of the strip too. So that's not just a comic either. We do uh, YouTube shorts now, so we're, we're doing videos now, which are fairly simple. Essentially, it's just the strip, but it's it's voiced out and um, then we do a little play on that at the end. So half of the video is, you know, the strip being read or acted out or whatever. And then the second half is some sort of skit based on it. It could be a song or a story, <clears throat> excuse me, or, or anything. So, uh, and even here, like you see here, it, when if I was still just in newspapers, I would not dare change up, you know, the regular flow of the strip. Right now, this is Casey, I almost said as a detective, no, she's kind of the opposite. This is Casey, the whole, this strip is Casey is part of the dog food mafia. Uh, would that go in papers? Maybe, but I probably wouldn't let it happen myself, because, you know, in, in papers you have a set readership, and I wouldn't want to kind of rock that boat at all. Coincidentally enough, that's the name of a comic I drew when I was a youngin. I drew Tanner Casey and I created another one called Rock the Boat. Why? I don't know. What was it about? Could not tell you. Um, wow, this hat is annoying. <laughs> I'm never drawing this hat again either. Uh, and who are the characters? Didn't really have characters. Anyway, it's not really what we're talking about. So, I, I don't know. It, it's a lot more fun. Um, am I going to focus on papers ever again? Probably not. Uh, you know, the whole goal, you know, and this is why I did it as a newspaper strip initially for those first 10 years. The whole goal from the beginning of Tanner and Casey was what well, I loved the comics pages in the newspaper of course as most people do uh, and so that's what initially got me into art you know I draw and I, I paint and uh, I write but what initially started it all was newspaper comic pages um, now so the goal was always to get my strip in the paper alongside new, you know, the news articles and games and other comics, and I achieved that. I I've done it. I did it pretty early, all the way back in 2016, I think it was. I had my first strip in the paper, and that was thanks to a wonderful editor. Uh, I've had a few different editors uh, in a in a few different papers I've been in. Uh, but that was the goal. And listen, I didn't even get paid for it. And, and posting these online, I don't get paid for it either. So now you ask, well, why do you do it? Well, let me tell you, it's fun. And it was a way, newspapers were a way of getting my word out there. 
and uh, we, s we saw growth working in, you know, drawing for the newspapers. It got me used to a deadline, which, you know, is useful for really any aspect of your life. So it was a good experience, it, and, you know, I learned a lot. And the, because I was forcing myself to draw all the time because I had to be in each issue of the paper or papers, uh, um, it, it forced me to develop my skills and my art. Do I consider myself a great drawer? No. Uh, I think I'm a pretty good painter, but painting and drawing are two uh, totally separate things. You could make the exception of watercolor, I suppose, where you usually pencil stuff in first like you do for a comic. But I hate eyes as well. Anything that's a circle, I hate. But it really helped me to, uh, you know, kind of develop both artistically and personally. And so, and, and the primary goal of the strip has always been to make people laugh. So money didn't really, when, and I have made money off the strip, of course. And, you know, whenever I made money off of it, it was always nice. Uh, but that was never, you know, the absolute goal, except for the comic books. The comic books, of course, you know, they're a product and you have to sell them. But in terms of being in newspapers, I never made money off of it. There was talk back in 2019, start of 2020, I can't remember exactly. This was as much as it doesn't feel like it, 2020 was so long ago now. Um, there was talk. Uh, I was talking with the publisher of one of the one or, no two of the papers I was in. The publisher actually owned a whole bunch of papers, and I was in talks with him to you know make Tanner Casey a feature across the board, and we decided on twenty five dollars per strip that I submitted for the papers. Uh, I think they were all weeklies. So this would have been, you know, four strips a month for a hundred dollars a month, extra change in my pocket. Then COVID hit. <laughs> so, oops, I keep hitting redo, undo. So like many thing, many, uh, you know, media productions, which a comic strip is, uh, that got put on hold and then nothing came of it. Uh, and this happened with various papers I was in talks with. It, there, there wasn't just one. It, it was happening all across the board. It wasn't, you know, oh, never mind. We're going to set you up and then decide, no, we're not going to take you. And just kind of set you up to drag you down. It, it wasn't anything like that. It was COVID. So, and, and am I going to try again? No. Am I going to try to get syndicated into comic, uh, comics pages and newspapers all over the world, etc., etc.? No. And, and the reason is, is it's not feasible anymore. This day and age, a comic syndicate is not feasible. And I'm not going to submit the strip, you know, of course, they'd have to accept it anyway. Uh, but I'm not even going to submit it because it's just not the way of doing things anymore you know that's all print well they do some web comics but mostly it's print and it's just it's not it used to be back when I started the strip and I considered sending out before and I've done up packages before I think I may have sent it out once, but I haven't done it again, and I'm not going to again, just because it's not, you know, the way that people consume comics firsthand anymore. They read them all online, so that that's why uh, uh, web comics are popular, while newspaper comics are are dying. 
along with newspapers, which is unfortunate because I write for a newspaper, and I love newspapers, and that's why I always drew for newspapers first. I'm just having so much more fun drawing it as a webcomic first because there's so many more, you know, liberties and freedoms that you can have when you're not trying to cater to a newspaper audience and you're not trying to cater to newspaper editors. There's a lot more <laughs> that you can do and that you can get away with. And like I said, the focus isn't even, you know, fully just comics anymore. If you look at the Tanner and Casey uh, Facebook page, uh, the comics part of the title it used to be called Tanner and Casey Comics. Now it's just called Tanner and Casey because we're trying to, you know, expand where this project can go. I have ownership of Tanner and Casey. Um, oops and the copyright uh, for artistic print um, okay. here I, I actually have it right beside me what is it literary and artistic which is kind of broad so you know there's a lot that I could do with it and I fully intend to in the coming days and months and weeks and years because so after 10 years it, it, it I'm happy to say it's not going anywhere it's changing but it's not going anywhere oh. there now we're all caught up keep getting confused wondering what this is but it's actually from over here so I've actually, this is the last panel I came in, otherwise I'd be here, you know, doing a video for hours. So I've already got it pretty much all done. Is that it? Just the shirt? Is that all I've got left to do? Yes, the shirt and the uh, baseboard. Between the floor and the wall. That's it. I like it. Trying to be more loose and have more fun. Primarily, you know, if I'm not having fun, then what am I even doing? <laughs> Why am I doing it? I'm not on a deadline anymore because I'm not in papers anymore. I was in a few. No, actually, the deal with that publisher would have put me in many more papers. I would have gone from about three to seven or eight, I think, within two years of when the strip first went in the paper. So that, you know, would have been a nice little bump up, uh, which for a comic as small as ours... You know, that's pretty good. But I'm not losing any sleep over it, and I'm not even going to, you know, poke them again about it. Same way as I'm not going to go to a syndicate, as was the original plan, or, or anything like that. Because, like I say, it's just in, in today's world, when everything's digital, you know, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. There we go. So, I'm not too concerned. So now, the best part, uh, let's see, where can I write? Now we're gonna sign it, which is the best part of it all. Uh, let's see here, and we're gonna date it. So it's the 20th. Uh, the 20th Some cartoonists sign in between the panels. I don't do that. And the reason is, is if you sign in between the panels, like in here, 
It's bad enough that I put the website and the copyright in between, but what, you know, what they can do, the Facebook pages and, and social media pages, Instagram and everything, that like to steal comics, uh, and even newspapers I've caught do it too. Um, and yes, my work has been stolen before, uh, namely my books. What they'll do is they'll just, you know, go here and they'll copy a panel. And so if your info is here and not a part of the drawing, then it can get cut and you don't get credit. So this is the only spot where I really have room for all this in between the the gut these are called gutters but at least I've got my credit here and the reference date as well and then uh, when I do the videos I put the website and Facebook at the end as well did I do it again did I draw on the pencil layer oh I did see okay if you look at the top right I did it earlier so here's a little trick here's what I do this is the one bad thing about drawing digitally is you can draw in the wrong section because here's you know my my ink layer how it's supposed to go so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go out to enhance color replace color I'm going to select the blue of the pencil go in here to white so you're taking the blue here changing it to the white it's a little gray, no worries, just bump up the lightness, and the blue's gone. Now you notice it made little marks here on the panel lines. Erase. Just a little deleting is all it takes. Let's see, we got that one too. We got a little bit up here. I think that's it. Okay, here we go. Finished result. Boom. <laughs> there we go. So it takes a while to do these, but it turned out all right. I'm not, I don't really have any complaints with it, and I'm usually my worst critic. Yeah, so there you go. There's the whole thing, which we don't normally see because usually I start us, um, uh, <laughs> Usually I start it at the pencil stage, and that's where I end it. I'll pencil a panel, and then I'll end the video. So if you want to see the end result, you gotta go digging for it, which is good, because that means, you know, I want you on the website, of course. So how about this? If you want to see it in color, which I'm going to add now, you got to go to tannerandcasey.com. That's it. That's the website name. Nice and simple. Tanner and Casey. A dot com. There it is. So, there we go. Another rambling video, another ramble, another drawing, uh, and that's just entirely the purpose of these videos. Just to yap and yap. Because, for some reason, people like these sorts of videos um and right now I, i'm very happy to say tanner and casey is oops is uh i think the most popular it's ever been as a web comic though the popularity that tanner and casey has now that i draw it in a web comic style for example these stacked two panels on top of two panels versus one long thing uh rather than it being horizontal it's more just one box which works better for screens that's why i do it, it fills up your screen more and, and it catches your eye quicker um and now that i'm being looser with the art and the jokes and everything um it's and now that i'm doing those goofy videos popularity has skyrocketed I'm getting boatloads of views uh, on the videos and everything namely shorts because that's just the way 
it goes with shorts anyway. And uh, even on Facebook, I'm noticing a lot of people are sharing it more so than before. And those posts that people have shared, people are sharing from their shared posts, and then people are sharing from their page. And I, I, I did a little experiment, a couple of strips I posted. I, I tried to see how far I could go into the shares, and eventually I just got lost. Because they don't all register on the Tanner and Casey Facebook page. Um... You, you have to go into the shared posts themselves, and I'm very pleased with how it's doing. Uh, actually, the second one of these strips I did, the shampoo one, is the most popular and most shared Tanner and Casey comic ever. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of views, tons of shares uh, and likes, and this is in 10 years I've been drawing and now I guess I've hit the sweet spot with this style people really respond to it better uh, and of course the stupider the video I have learned the more views it gets which is what you want because you you want your as an artist you want your work to be shared right here I'm noticing this hand looks horrible such is life like I said unlike before I'm not gonna panic about it. Okay. I've rambled on enough. I've been drawing for half an hour. I need to go have something to drink and soak up some sun. And hopefully you can too. Uh, that's all. Uh, bye bye.